Italy. The late 400s. The Ostrogoths, the eastern branch of the Goths, have conquered Italy, under their leader, Theodoric the Great. Even though they were the second barbarian force to rule the region after the fall of Rome, they still adopted much of the Roman forms of administration. Opposition to his rule forced Theodoric to execute Boethius, one of the foremost Roman senators, in 525. Theodoric would perish himself a year later, leaving a young grandson and heir, Athalaric. Being too young, Theodoric's daughter, Amalasuintha, acted as queen regent until the boy was of age. There was dissent among the Ostrogoth nobility though, and the entire state was in danger of crumbling. In desperation, the regent asked the still-standing Eastern Roman Empire for aid. Amalasuintha was murdered in 535, an Eastern Emperor, Justinian, took this as an opportunity to march on Italy, and perhaps re-establish the glory of the Roman Empire. The Gothic Wars lasted 19 years, until 554, and Justinian and his forces stood triumphant over a smoldering Italy. In 568, the barbarian Lombards, another Germanic peoples, invaded Italy from the northeast. They conquered the northern regions under their leader, Alboin, and by 572, settled into a kingdom. It split into various dukedoms, but was reconsolidated by Orthri, who held off Byzantine encroachment until his death in 590. Under the next Lombard king, Agilolf, the Lombards would become Catholic, and over time, expand more into Italy, reclaiming it from the Byzantines, and reaching its greatest extent by the mid-700s. The kingdom would finally collapse in 774, at the hands of the Frankish king, Charlemagne.